Davi, end zone. Abraderis with the touchdown catch. End around to Abraderis, and there's no one home. Touchdown. Abraderis, touchdown, Wisconsin. Got a man open, Abraderis goes up in the air for another catch. Pair of the best hands in the Big Ten, folks, right there. From walk-on to walking all over some of the nation's best cornerbacks, Jared Abraderis now gets set to make the next transition going from college to the NFL. Welcome back to BTN Live. Rick Pizzo and Glenn Mason with you. Glenn, I've been the self-proclaimed president of the Jared Abraderis fan club now for a couple of years. You've borne witness to that on several occasions. Well, I agree, and I am a card-carrying member of that club. Uh, you know, I love guys. Uh, I always say some guys make plays, some guys don't. I've really enjoyed watching this guy play, making plays game after game. Well, we are thrilled now to be joined on BTN Live by Jared Aberderis, just a week away from the NFL draft. Jared, we can look at all the mock projections we want, look at all the draft boards. What have you heard? Let's go straight to the source. When do you expect, general range, your name to be called next weekend? It's up in the air. It's anything could happen. It just depends on, on the day and and I guess, you know, what guys go before me and, and just how the draft unfolds. So, I mean, just anywhere from the mid-rounds, mid, mid rounds, I mean, that's what I've been hearing. So, I mean, we'll see. Um, Got to wait for that call, and once that happens, I'll be excited. Hey, uh, Jared, I know that uh, all the talk is around the National Football League, rightly so, but, you know, I'm a college guy, and I, I think about the career, the experience you had at Wisconsin. When you reflect back, what's your fondest memory of the University of Wisconsin and the football program? Uh, I'd say it had to be probably the two the two times we were in the Big Ten championship game. Uh, you know, the first two years it was held. Just having those games against uh, Michigan State and Nebraska, um, just both of those being edge games for us because we obviously lost um, during the year to them. So just have, have those games and uh, to come out on top uh, when it really mattered, that was, uh, those were some good good memories. You know, Jared, uh, Rick already referred to this, but here you are. You come out of high school. You're a walk-on player. You're an unknown. You become a star of the Big Ten, a stalwart in that program. As you enter into the next part of your career, the National Football League, do you take the same type of attitude, the same type of approach as you move forward? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, just having that underdog mentality, um, just the hard work that it took to, to get to where I am right now. Um, definitely will continue on the National Football League, and then, you know, even after that, I just think that's a good, a good attitude to have, no matter what you're doing. Um, just making sure you work hard and, and just earn everything that's given to you. We're talking with former Wisconsin Badger wide receiver Jared Abraderis as he gets set to hear his name called the next weekend's NFL draft. Jared, in my opinion, you've been unfairly categorized as an undersized wide receiver, yet you stand over six feet tall. You go nearly 200 pounds, and I know you played a little bit less than that as the season wore on. But is that something that you've heard or something that you've had to overcome, whether it be in meetings with teams or in workouts to show them that you don't belong in that group, that you're just about average size for an NFL wideout? Yeah, I mean, I think you know, there's always going to be knocks on you, no matter you know what it is. So, um, I mean, you just got to be able to work at it and just improve upon your weaknesses. But, I mean, you got to be able to do what you do good. And so, you know, I, and not only just working on my weaknesses, but just uh, gaining on some of my strengths. And I think uh, if you if you play to your strengths, you're gonna you know, you're gonna be successful. Obviously, there's nothing that shows better than just putting on the game tape and. I was there when you lit up Ohio State and Bradley Roby, a guy who's considered to be a lock first-round corner for over 200 yards in the game against Ohio State. How much has that game came, come up in conversations that you've had with NFL teams, and is that something that you believe can help your stock next weekend? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think, you know, just um, being, being a nationally televised game, you know, at night, um, you know, the whole whole nation's watch, and I think that was huge for me. Um, you know, obviously I've had some good games in my career, but uh, just to be able to do that when everybody's watching and just show, um, you know, what I was capable of, it definitely helped out. Obviously it comes up a lot when you're talking to coaches and, you know, basically every, every coach I talk to, you know, Scott and all those guys, they knew about that game. So it's definitely huge for me, and I think that will, you know, help out just going against a, one of the top corners like you were saying. Um, and be able to put up some good numbers. Hey, Jared, okay, here's the tough question. 
And I'm not going to let you off the hook. You can't say, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Pick one team that you'd like to play for in the National Football League and why. (laughs) Well, I mean, honestly, I'd play anywhere. But if I had to pick one, uh, I'd definitely probably be just the Packers growing up. Wisconsin kid. Um, I've been a fan ever since I was ever since I can really remember. Um, so that would be, I mean, that'd be awesome to be able to play for the for the Packers and, and catch catch some passes from Aaron Rodgers and, and just be a part of that wide receiver core that they have there. That fits in extremely well, Jared, because you just got a Twitter question from a Badger fan, Robin Westerman the third, who wanted to know if you want to be drafted by the Packers. Are you sure they got a quarterback who could get you the ball if you end up in Green Bay? <laughs> yeah, I think they got a pretty good one there, so <clears throat> that'd be definitely a, a great fit. Well, Jared Abraderis, it was a ton of fun watching you during your career at Wisconsin. No matter where you go in the NFL, we'll be eyeing that as well. Best of luck next weekend, and thanks for joining us today on BTN Live. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Like May says, some guys can just play, and the numbers bear it out. Abraderis leaves Madison tied for the all-time most receptions with over 200, second in both yards and touchdowns, winner of this year's Burlesworth Trophy, which goes to the nation's most outstanding player who started their career as a walk-on.